What's going on, Pokemon Masters? Pokemon Trivia and we are back today with some more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. This is episode three. If you missed out on the last two episodes, please go back and watch them because a ton of stuff happened. Uh, but in the last episode, what happened was we finally met Jay, and Jay seemed to run into a bit of trouble. And then it took a little bit of um, an exploration with Nuzleaf around Serene Village, and we saw Shelmet and Dealing talking about Gumi. And I think they're gonna go and find something i don't know but we're gonna go find out what they're up to right now with gumi so i think that's what we're gonna do and we're just getting right into this be sure to answer the question of the video down in the description below please go ahead and do that now let's just get into this we can't but wonder about those kids will you go after the children well i don't think we have much of a choice we're gonna go after those children here we go what he still hasn't come back he still hasn't come back out there's there's the pancham yeah that's right it's been a pretty long time, too. I knew he was a total wimp. No surprise there. He should have just admitted what a wimp he is and kept his mouth shut. But he had to go and talk big, like he could handle this kind of place. He was boasting, saying, I'll show you. That's what got him into this mess. He was probably huddled up somewhere in the forest, and sn petrified and sniffing back tears. Ha ha ha. You are so mean, Pancham. Gumi isn't even the same age as us. Yeah, I just burped. That was nasty. Yeah, but he's the one who talks big. He got what was coming to him. We figure it's our job to teach him a little something about how harsh the world is. And if something happens him in there, what are you going to do then, huh? I'm going in after him. No way, you can't go in there dealing. What if something happened to you? We can't let that happen to our idol. We're not letting you step a foot into such a dangerous place. Are you kidding me? That's fine. Then fine, you go in after him. Y you want us to go? Into the four bodying forest? No way. Why would we do that? I mean, it's not not only like we're scared or anything like that, but I, I don't want to go and get you the wrong idea or whatever. You understand, right? Hmm. Who's this? And there I am, just standing. <laughs> Haven't seen you around before. Where did you come from? You're not from the village. What's the matter? Skitty got your tongue? Well, no one's gonna understand if you don't ever speak up. Well, what should I do? Did I, over I did overhear what they were saying. I guess I could offer to go look for that Gumi kid. Will you go look after Gumi? Yes, we will. I don't know why it always starts on no. I do. I do. Yeah. I can't shake this feeling. I'll do it. What? You'll go in there for us? You sure about this? You do know that this place is, like, super scary, right? Well... If you really want to go in, I guess we're not going to stand in your way. But it's no skin off our backs if you get into any trouble in there. Are you sure you're up to this? Are they dealing with a girl and other two are guys? I don't know. I'm not sure. Where is Gumi trying to go anyway? He shouldn't have gone that far in. There's a big old piece of paper in the forest, not that far from the entrance. A piece of paper? When Pancham and I came exploring to the forest before sea... We brought it up. We brought it to use like a tarp, so we had something to sit on. Now we got jumped by a whole bunch of scary Pokemon. Man, that was awful. You should have seen Pancham's face. Remember, it still cracks me up. All right, back to the points. You guys left that paper there. Is that it? And you told Gumi to go find it. Yeah, we told him to find the paper and write his name on it and bring it back. If he could do that, we said we'd admit that he has some real guts. I'm so sorry about this. I think you've got what yeah, I think you've got the picture now. Will you really help? Of course. And there we go. Our valiant selves. Without Jay though. Be careful in the eerie what what? And there. Oh, I think it was in there. Be careful in there. So four bodying fours. Here we are. In a dungeon, pick up as many items as possible to help you through difficult situations. Tap B to check your items. Yeah, if you tap B, you check your items. And we have a lot of orange berries, some petrified wood. Uh, we've got a Pokemon makes that Pokemon petrified. All right, that's what it is. Warp one. We've got a Pokemon warps its surrounding Pokemon. Okay, all right. I think I know what those are. Slumber one, and it makes me go to sleep. All right, so we have some. We have a few wands, and I just ran into that. Eating a blast seed will spit fire forward, causing huge damage. All right, so we woke up a Stantler. We're gonna Electro Ball. It's twelve. Oh, that does nothing. Electro Ball is upgraded, which is pretty cool, and it takes out to so much. Oh my gosh! All right, we're gonna Grass Knot. Bam. You're heavy. You're fat. There we go. Not bad. So nothing goes to that thing. I think this place is going to be a lot harder than the last place. Uh, we get a Petrify Orb. 
I feel like this place is going to be a ton harder than the last place. Tiny Reviver Seed, which is not bad. Orin Berry. Basically, Reviver Seed, if you... Oh, my gosh. How did I get myself... All right, what are we going to do? We're going to wake him up. There are two enemy Pokemon. You're in big trouble. Use a Petrifier, but you can make multiple enemies unable to move. If you don't have it, go back to the path you came from. Okay, so I think this place is, like, setting me up. I don't know. Go Petrify Orb. And we're just going to use this thing. Petrify your face! There we go. And I think now we can attack them. Right? Uh, we're going to... Electro Ball got upgraded. I don't know what that does. We're just going to Electro Ball. It still doesn't do, like, anything. Oh, it's okay. So once we attack them, they, they like, wake up. All right, interesting. We're going to Grass Knot. It's going to do 11. We're going to knock him out. We're going to Grass Knot you if I can press it. Oh, my... Why? There we go. We're taking big damage. It's no bueno. No bueno. All right, we need to heal up. Uh, I don't want to use an orange berry. We're just gonna because if you run around, your HP gets restored. So there's that. Uh, there's an apple. Apples are always bueno. Muy bueno, which means really good. Uh, there's a wand. Grab that wand. Let's see. Oh, there's a Mr. Mon. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Is he fairy type? I think he's a fairy type. He's a sixth, sixth gen. So yeah, fairy type. And we take out Mr. Mime. Alright, not bad. And here's the first set of stairs. I don't know how long it said. It said it was only... It said it was really close to the entrance. I don't know how many floors we're going to have to go through. If you fail an adventure, you'll end up losing your items in Pokey. Alright, well, thank you for telling me that. Now I just got paranoid. Uh, we're going to head down this way. We're going to look up. And we're going to fake you out of this world. And I we missed. Oh, fantastic. Alright, we're going to fake out now. A seven. Absorb! Does so much damage. How much is Electro Ball going to do? Oh, that's 16. All right, we could have just done that. Apple. All right, we need to find these stairs and get out of this place. Did we ever level up yet? I don't know if we ever leveled up. How do we check our move settings? Um, how do we check how close we are to leveling up? I don't know. This is moves. Status. I think it's status. Uh, HP. Let's press. Uh, experience points 14. Yeah, so 21 to level up. Only need 20 more, 21 more experience to level up. So after we defeat around two Pokemon, we're going to level up. All right, so we're almost there. Almost there. Almost level six. Let's see. Let's grab this Apple. Uh, Spritzy, we're going to fake you out of this world. Critical hit. We got a lot. We got 11, 11 damage, I think. That's pretty good. Uh, Do we get experience? I didn't even see because our stats are lowered. We got another tiny reviver seed, which is pretty cool. Getting these reviver seeds are honestly really helpful. Trust me when I say that. I don't know. I haven't played this game yet, but in the last Super Mystery Dungeons, they were super helpful. To fake out, do a lot of damage. He's going to growl. Stop. Oh, he missed the growl. Okay, good. Oh, we missed. Fantastic. All right, so moves that are far away won't affect. All right. Okay. I see. Oh, wait. They affect him, though. All right, I think, I think Quick Guard, like, wore off or whatever. Okay, so now, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to press Y first. Mm, that did so much. Okay, we're going to get rid of this, this thing first. There we go. All right, so he's gone. We're going to level up, which is great. We could trip group to level 6. Trip's HP went up by 1, attack by 1, defense by 2, special attack by 2, spit off by 1, and speed by 1. All right, not bad. He's going to copycat Electro Ball. Wow, we're low. We're eating an orange berry. <laughs> Items. Orange berry. Eat that orange berry. There we go. Back to full health. Thankfully. Fusion does 19. I feel like we're really under level. We probably should have done a like grinding in the past dungeons. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, we have a few reviver seeds, so we shouldn't be in too much trouble. I really wanted the apple. I really wanted the apple. Okay, so this was the right way to go. Get a petrified wand, not bad. And this is another tiny reviver seed. Wow, we're getting a lot of these bad boys. We're getting a lot of them. So we're on the fourth floor right now, and there's an enemy. Bam! Don't growl me. Uh, we're just gonna grass knot to the face, and that doesn't take him out. What the heck? All right, this tackle should take him out as it does. Hmm. I feel like this place is gonna be maybe five floors. I feel like five floors would make a lot of sense. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Uh, it's just Mr. Mime. All right, attack. Step up. Step up to me. Let's fake out. Barrier, can you just, like, come here? Thank you. Mr. Mime is, like, one of the biggest threats in this whole dungeon so far. 
which is kind of funny. Anyways, oh, okay, Spritzy. Spritzy out of nowhere. My evasiveness went down. I think that lowers our ability to dodge or something. Fairwind doesn't really do much. Spritzy's really bulky. In the confused status, the Pokemon won't be able to control its move direction or travel direction. The status goes away after its own time. If you get into trouble, try curing the status with an item. All right, let's see. So we can still attack. Nope. All right. All right, crit. All right, we're going to get out of here. It's only one way to go. All right, back to normal. All right, we're good. Let's just attack. Yes, it does take him out. All right. Let's see. Stairs, 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 stairs. There's the stairs. Pick up the apple. Go down the stairs. All right, so we're out of this place because the music stopped. I feel like I've come pretty far, but... Oh, that must be him. And there's Gumi with the little note. Uh, why did I come here? I'm so scared. You're, you're right there at the note, Gumi. Come on, buddy. Is this the piece of paper that Pancham and Shelma were talking about? It's got writing on it. Foot writing? The letters are oddly squiggly and sort of hard to read, but somehow I think I can read them. G-O-O-M-Y. That's what it looks like. I see. Which tells me makes this kid the Gumi they were talking about. Gumi made it all the way here and even wrote his name on it like they told him. That took real courage. I say like college. Courage. Yeah! <laughs> face on the, the Gumi's face. That was amazing. Huh? Y you're here to help me? Oh. Oh. Wow, I'm so scared. That's all right, Gumi. We're here for you, buddy. We're here for you. You, you actually made it back? And you brought the paper back, too. You even wrote your name on it. Hmm, what's up with this writing? It's so sloppy all over the place. It's not sloppy! Too funny. I bet you're too scared and shaking to even write properly. That's hilarious. Come on, let's go show this to everyone. See ya, suckers! And they're out of here. Poor Gumi. Hey, you two! Oh, I've had it up to here with them. And you too, Gumi. I'm glad you made it back okay, but what if there hadn't been anyone around to help? Sorry, dearling. I wanted to show them that I had real guts, too. This deal will just rode you into doing something crazy. You can't listen to them. Well, you gotta give everything you had, that's for sure. The dearling. You made it into the forest alone. And you wrote your name just like they asked. Even though you're writing a sloppy. Don't call it sloppy. And? It's really thanks to you that Gumi got out of there in one piece today. We really do owe you, so thank you. Um, huh? You never did tell us your name, did you? And I'm panic. Panic. Panic mode. Look at the view. Such a great view. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, oh. Nuzzate's here. After I done told you not to leave this house. I done told you to stay inside until I got home. Did I not? You'd best learn to mind your elders next time. But, well. It ain't like I can't understand the itch to see the wider world out there. I reckon this might all be new to you after all. It's a fine thing to have a, have, lo have a love of adventure in your heart. Grown-ups will always be saying you can't do this, that, or the other. But there are things in life you'll never learn to accept by experiencing them for yourself. I reckon I'm pretty lax when it comes to adventuring and what have you. So if you got a hankering to go adventuring around the village, you go right ahead. Nuzleaf. But from tomorrow morning, you'll be attending class at the local school. So you tuck in early tonight to be all ready for your big first day. All right, so we're going to school. Uh, I don't, I don't like school, but we're going to school, I guess. Uh, we're just not gonna save, just in case. You never know. The next morning, I reckon we ought to head to school early this time. I'll have to introduce you to the teachers and all, for starters. I'll go along with you this time, but tomorrow you'll make the trip by yourself. Let's hit the road, and we're going to school. We're on the way to school. Chapter three on a hill where a large tree stands. We're already on chapter three. Wow. It's far-fetched. I like this music. Some nice relaxing music here. Oh boy. And that's about the sum of it, Mr. Principal, Mr. Vice Principal. So I'll be leaving this kid in the kid in your hands. Go on. Share your manners and say hello. Ho ho ho. Looks like we'll have another fun addition to our class. What a delight. I'll be gladly I'll be glad to take responsibility for the education of your young charge. Good. I'll just be seeing myself out then. And there goes Nuzleaf. And we're at school. Hmm. 
Just don't make any trouble in school. We already got enough troublemakers on our hands. I can't weather another scandal. Now, now, Vice Principal Watchog. I would say that's quite unnecessary. I think I'm going to give him like a jolly voice. Do we truly have any troublemakers at our, our fine school? Of course we do. One in particular. The very bane of my existence. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Mr. Principal, and don't you deny it. My dear Vice Principal, I'm sure you'd never mean to speak ill of our precious students. Good morning, Far Mr. Farfetch'd. Ah, oh, yes, good morning. Morning, Mr. Farfetch'd. And a good morning to you, Miss Deerling. Morning, Teach. Hey, Teach. Why are you always carrying that leak around with you, huh? Well, it would be quite far-fetched for me to not carry around such a useful tool. I see what you did there. I'm afraid you're wrong about one thing, though. This is no leak. It's a stock. Er, but never you mind that now. Come along, everyone, to your seats. Seems as though the students have begun to arrive. Let's introduce you to your new classmates, shall we? And here we go. Everyone, I have a special treat for you today. Or for you, no today. We have a new friend joining us today. There's a today. We'll be learning together from now on. Though that's the kid who... You're the one from yesterday. What's that? Looks like some of you are already acquainted with our new friend. For those of you who are not, I'd like you to meet Trip. Trip has just moved here and lives with Mr. Nudsleaf, who you may know. I hope you'll get along. You'll all get along well. Uh oh. And there's Jay. And Jay bumps right into me. Thanks, Jay. Typical. The troublemaker strikes again. Whoa! Sorry, sorry. Are you okay? Wow! You're the one I. It's that crazy kid from yesterday. <laughs> Everything's going black. Can't hold on. And we fainted. Perfect. Huh? Where am I? What's all you know? Oh, you've come back to us. This is school's nurse office. You blacked out and lost consciousness. It was Jay who took you out. Do you remember anything? Well, it's good that you're awake now. Looks like you should be fine. Oh, me? I'm on Dino. I'm actually the village doctor, but I also help out teaching health here at school. Here at the school, I'm sure you'll see me more around, or around more. I don't know. I don't know. What did I say? I missed it. I'm afraid class has started without you. If you feel up to a trip, you should probably hurry back to join them. And I guess we're gonna go back and join. Here we go. Let's talk to you. What do you say? Everyone is in the middle of class now. If you're feeling up to a trip, I suggest you join them. All right, we're gonna go join the class. We're gonna go join the class. So uh, in the end. The Graveler, fed up with the lack of sleep, decided to try counting Marip. One Marip, two Marip, three Marip, four Marip, five Marip, six Marip. And here we are. Oh, there's Trip. I'm awake, I'm listening. <laughs> okay, Shelman, okay. Trip, you're finally awake, are you okay? It was totally my fault for running into you like that. Excuse me. We're in the middle of class, you know. No one said you could leave your seats. So sorry, Mr. Farfetch'd. And we're heading back. Trip, are you well enough to rejoin the class? Of course. In that case, please find your seat. There's a space open next to Jay. Oh, perfect. Hee <laughs> hee. Oi! All eyes up front. <laughs> yes, sir. Now then, let me continue with the reading. Let's see. Where are, where were we? Yes, yes. Right about here. Seven Mari. Eight Mari. Nine Mari. Ten Mari. And there's Shelma just sleeping in the back. When recess finally rolled around. Thanks again for yesterday. We owe you, Trip. You totally saved, or you really saved Gumi out there. Wait a minute. Just what did you do, Trip? Suddenly everyone loves you around here. I don't know what's happening. We're just like talking. Hmm, what a bunch of dummies. Hey, Pancham, I've got a good idea. What kind of idea, Shelmet? Well, you see. Whisper, whisper. Murmur, murmur, whisper, whisper. Psst, 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 psst. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, blah, blah, blah. And finally, class is due to an end for the day. Oh, I think that was like a school bell. Ding dong. Oh, I don't think it sounds like ding dong. Whatever. School bell. Goodbye, Mr. Farfetch'd. Yes, see you tomorrow. See you later, Mr. Farfetch'd. Yes, yes. You take care on your way home. And we're leaving school. Hey, Trip. And there's Jay. Let's walk home together. All right. 
I'm sorry I never got to finish showing you around the plaza yesterday. I'm afraid a little something popped up and gone the way. Haha. <laughs> but today, today's a new day. How about it? I take you around after this. What? You've already shown yourself around. Oh, that's that, I guess. Oh, I know. In that case, how about this? I got some place really good to show you. Some place really good. Yeah, it's the best, and it's the best, and you'll feel great after visiting it. You'll see. Don't you want to check it out right away? Do you want to see this really good place? Of course I do. Really? You'll really come with me? All right, you're the best. Then follow me. This way, hurry. Hold it right there. Uh oh. Hey, I told you to stop, didn't I? What is it? We got some place to be, so we weren't talking to you. It's Trip who needs to hear us out. Uh oh, this can't be good. So, Trip, you did a pretty good, pretty good, pr pretty good job. I, I don't know how do I mess that up. You did a pretty good job making out of the forbidding forest. Yes, sir. Forbidding forest. I don't know. All right, we're gonna start giving people voices now. We're gonna start giving people voices. I don't know this is just random. Uh, we're gonna give Pancham and Shelmet like a tough. No, we're gonna give Pancham a tough voice. We're gonna give Shelmet like a goofy voice. You did a pretty good job making out of the forbidding forest yesterday. What? Trip, you went to the forbidding forest yesterday? No one is talking to you, you little. Anyway, Trip, don't go thinking making it out of that making it out of the forbidding forest means you're tough. Yeah, don't go thinking that. There are plenty. There are way, <laughs> there are way scarier places than that in the world. Yeah, there are. There are? Where? Hmm. Right. I forgot you're in an ex expedition society or what I want to be or whatever. Back to the point. If you can clear out an even scarier dungeon, then we'll admit you've got some guts. So how about it? You up to the challenge? I think Pancham's a kid. I don't want to give him such a deep voice. Whatever. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. No one is talking to you. He's so Jay's so happy. <laughs> okay. Would you like to save your adventure? Uh, we will. So I think that's where we're going to go ahead and end off this episode. So Pancham and Shelmet look like they're kind of... Oh, I just slapped my mic. I'm sorry. Pancham and Shelmet look like they're kind of they're kind of not liking me. Maybe they're jealous. I don't know. I don't think they like me very much. And uh, Jay's in an expedition society you want to be or whatever. So it's pretty interesting stuff right now going on. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Next episode, we're going to find out what... What Pancham and Shelmet want? Like, where we're we gonna go? What an even scarier dungeon than the Full Warning Forest? I'm not sure if that exists, but I guess we're gonna find out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed, leave a like right now. Blues that thumb. Nizio eleven and your support means so much to me on this brand new series. And uh, I think that's gonna be it. Don't forget to answer the question of the video down in the description below. And that should be it. Next episode is gonna be tomorrow or later today, whenever I don't know. Uh, that's gonna be. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. Until next time, have a nice shirt.